Hi, today I'm going to show you Matthew C. Primer really quick. This is the equivalent to kindergarten. They don't do grade level names because kids vary depending on where they are with their math skill level. But primer is the very first one. So this introduces the child to math. So we want it to be fun. And Matthew C. is fun because it's, it's hands-on. So that comes with blocks like this. So the big, huge red ones underneath represent the hundreds blocks. These are the tens, and the little green ones are the units, and then they have the rest of the numbers there. And what they do is this way they have something that they build, then they say, they write. So it's for all kind of learners, which is great, because math was so boring to me. I hated it, so this is a great way for math to be fun. And so far we have three kids that have been using it, and they all seem to like it. So this is what they give you in the beginning. It's called Decimal Street, and he explains it all. But it's where the hundreds, tens, and ones live, and it helps them learn the place for you. So it's kind of fun. So the kindergarten one, this is the student workbook. It's really thick, um, consumable, because you rip out and use the worksheets. But they, it comes with it. The teacher pack comes with the DVD. I don't know where mine is. I don't really need it for kindergarten. It's self-explanatory. But what it's divided up into has 30 lessons. So you basically do a lesson a week. So a regular school year has 36 weeks. So this gives you some leeway to play with because it's only 30 weeks. And you can do a little bit every day if you want. We, we kind of settled into three days a week for math. So the first, like say for Monday, we would do the introduction where you learn the new concept. So that would be, it goes... 1A, 1B, and 1C. Those are all the new, the new concept, the new lesson. They don't have to do all three worksheets. It's just there in case your child needs it. Otherwise, we just do one or two, depending on how well it is or their attention span. And then D, E, and F are review. And then in the younger kid books here, they have a G, and it's just a fun one, an application. Um, and that's what you do. And then the next week... Same thing. You do do A, B, and C for one day, D, E, and F for the review, and then the G. And that's basically it for kindergarten. And what it does is just introduce counting numbers and the blocks. So it's fun because when they get up, they learn the place value, and then they learn the colors, and they have places where you actually put the blocks on the worksheet. And so it's fun because they fit like this. They fit right on there, so the kids have fun building and then writing the numbers. And so, um, and he he explains it like a, a train connecting, the plus sign. And then it's a fun way, like for 10, like if you want to know, you have the 10 here. So 8 plus 2 is equal to 10. And so they, they get to learn, it's just like simple facts, but it's fun because they get to do that. And then you always allow them fun time to play and play with the blocks afterwards. So it just works its way up, and it's a fun way to learn addition. And then um, the heart behind Matthew C2 is using math for life. So not just to memorize facts and kind of trudge through 12 years of school, but actually use it for your everyday, why would you use math in every day? And then they have the fun pages like that. So basically that's it. At the very end they have some clockwork for time, just to introduce to time. And it's fun because you can use the back of this as a clock. If I get it in the right... There you go. And you use the clocks, or the blocks, to put on for the clock, the block clock. <laughs> then you can learn ones and counting by fives too. So anyway, that is the kindergarten or the primer level of Matthew C.